as I was saying so earlier before, before I got interrupted by the video ending, basically you have to get to the blue elevator. You're on the red elevator right now. The, the, however, the red elevator will never pass by the blue elevator since they take the exact same path. The only difference though is that the blue elevator will change a path near the very end to go to a different stop where we want to go. Because it will lead to the second half of the stage. Now there's only one place you can stand in the entire in this entire route where you can actually stop there and wait for the blue elevator and that's right there. Yeah, the elevator's just nice enough to slow itself down to a little crawl and wait. Now we have time to kill. I mean ghosts to kill. But, more importantly, we ha we do have time to kill, too, since, well, there's nothing to do. Other than just to stand here and wait for the other elevator. This is really, really bad game design. And thus, this is why how I got myself my ass killed earlier. Although I do believe I have to owe it partially responsible to the thing that... To that... Uh, to that! Which I still hit, but... At least it didn't uh, push me off. Because if you just get hit directly by it, it's shoving your ass right into the spikes on the left or the right. Yeah, you're just gonna fucking die from it. Uh. I'm sorry, th th there's just nothing to say. This is just like a boring as hell segment. And I know what I said earlier that this is probably like the silliest thing in existence, but still. Even with the silliest thing in existence staring at me in the face, there's just nothing to say about it. Because it's just that boring. Come on, where the hell are the enemies that are supposed to be charging me every fi- Oh, there they are. There's the- Yeah, but then again, these are weak enemies that I could probably even knife them. And they would die. Ugh. Come on, this section's boring as hell. Make it end. I don't like this section. And I get hit through by a ghost through the floor. And I shoot off my sword to the ghost. But the ghost's not impressed and keeps chasing me. So I think I threw I chucked a cross at him for whatever reason. Anyway, this is where we were supposed to go. But however, only the blue elevator will end up here. The red one will not. It'll just pass, I think it'll pass by the other side. And that's why it never ends up here. Or I don't know, some, some, something there. This is confusing enough with the, with the Turok fog and the Turok caves and the, well, I don't, I don't know what else this game has in relation with Torok. Anyway, here's a bunch of annoying jumps. I'm surprised I never died on this part either. I'm like, this looks easy. Yeah, jump there. And jump there. You know, since the camera refused to show me that little platform right that was uh, I could probably just drop drop I've dropped onto, I said, fuck that, I'm just gonna jump straight to this one. And I'm gonna get ambushed by a bat, almost get shoved off into that apparently poisonous river that Reinhardt never found out for sure if it's poisonous, but he just guessed and apparently he he was probably right. Now we are going to completely bypass the bucket, which I believe has a cure in it, but since I already have max cures, there's no reason. Anyway, we are very coming close to the end of the stage. I mean, there's not much left in this entire stage. It's pretty short if you know the way through. However, in general, most of the time, most people will forget the way through, so they will get lost all the time. Anyway, here's the very end of the gate of the stage with fire breathing bats. Yeah, we're gonna ignore that and head and bypass them entirely. We we walk into another cutscene. Reinhardt's gonna walk forward and admire Hey, it's that pretty girl I wanna date. You I'm over here. Uh, what's she doing? What's she doing? Hey, her hand is clipping through her dress. That can't be good. And apparently she wants to kill herself. So she walks into a beam of sunlight. 
And Reinhardt's like, stop, don't be stupid. Shove. Uh, no, don't stop me. He drags her out of it. Why are you trying to stop me? I am a vampire. Whatever you are, God forbid suicide. Even for a vampire? Yes. Even for a vampire. That's why I have to kill you. So, even in death, my soul cannot find forgiveness. Well, that's what... Well, the obvious solution is to go kill Dracula, Rosa. I mean, not kill yourself. If that's the case, you must kill me. Um... I... I can't... I can't do that. That's that. That's something a female vampire hunter would do. I'm just saying, aren't you a vampire killer? No, I'm a vampire stalker. I like I like dating vampires. Is it because it's woman shape? You can't kill what looks like a girl or a child. Yes, that's why I couldn't kill um little boy mouse. And apparently that's Morse code for saying that he can't do it. Such a soft date. Oh, you ever stand up to Count Dracula? Throwing away your life for nothing. Best run home now. You know, I don't know why, but the the attitude seemed to just, like, made a complete 180 between the two. I mean, first Rosa was, like, suicidal, and Reinhardt was like, stop! And then all of a sudden, Rosa just suddenly, like, 180 and became, like, you're, you're a little pussy. And Reinhardt's like, eh! Anyway, welcome to the Castle Center. I fucking hate this place. However, I'm not gonna be doing it now. Ah. <sighs> When we come back, more Castle Center. I fucking hate this place. But if you can see off in the distance, there's probably a really silly monster. We'll get back to him later. We'll kill him later, because I don't want to kill him now. Bye.